Hey guys, so just a few days ago, Apple released iOS 17.1.2, and of course, this software update aims to patch two security vulnerabilities within the operating system related to WebKit. However, I did want to test two iPhone 15 Pro Maxes running iOS 17.1.1 versus 17.1.2, which is the latest release, to see how things are going, if Apple has improved the software in any way in terms of Wi-Fi, keyboard issues that continue to be reported, benchmark and performance, and of course, the battery. So in this video, we're going to be comparing iOS 17.1.1 on this iPhone here on the left versus iOS 17.1.2 on this iPhone here on the right. Again, both are iPhone 15 Pro Maxes. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. So the first thing I wanna test is Wi-Fi performance. A lot of users continue to report poor Wi-Fi performance in iOS 17. Apple did provide a patch for 17.2 beta, which is going to be available later in December, but does iOS 17.1.2 actually improve on Wi-Fi? Well, let's go ahead and jump into the Wi-Fi test application here. And of course, both of these devices are connected to the exact same network. So if we go into settings here and we jump into our Wi-Fi, you see that we have the same network connected on both devices. So let's go ahead and run the test here on iOS 17.1.1 first, and then we'll run the same test on 17.1.2. So in terms of download speeds here, as you can see, 17.1.1 looks to be approaching about 270. It dropped there a little bit, so 255 right now. And it looks like we're lingering around 255 for the download speeds on iOS 17.1.1. Now when it comes to upload speeds here, we get anywhere from 25 close to 30 so 30 31 35 so approaching 35 on upload speeds now this network is capable of 400 megabytes download and 40 uploads so in terms of uploads we're reaching our most max here on 17.1.1 when it comes to upload speeds and download speeds we have about 250 so let's go ahead and test the new ios 17.1.2 in terms of wi-fi performance does the wi-fi have any type of improvement here again Again, both iPhones obviously on the same network and same location. So let's see the download speeds on 17.1.2. Now when it comes to download, it looks like iOS 17.1.2 is not performing as iOS 17.1.1 is slightly lower in terms of Wi-Fi download speeds. And when it comes to upload speeds, it's also kind of having issues here as well. So this is sort of unexpected. You see that the download speeds or upload speeds, sorry, continue to climb slowly, but they do not reach the capacity that they did on 17.1.1, which is a bit of a bummer. So 17.1.1 definitely performed better in terms of download speeds and upload speeds on the Wi-Fi network connected here in the studio. Now the keyboard in iOS has also been one of those things that continues to have issues with iOS 17. And I have to say that if you were having issues with your keyboard on iOS 17.1.1, you'll probably continue to have the same issues on 17.1.2 as Apple does not look to be adding any improvements to the keyboard. I did experience some minor lag within the keyboard, same stuff I experienced on 17.1.1. So that's why I say if you're experiencing key keyboard issues on iOS 17, 17.1.2 will most likely not address any of these issues. Unfortunately, I hate to say that, but it is the truth. Same issues continue to persist, although they're not as persistent for me, they do continue to happen on the latest updates. So yeah, in terms of keyboard, hopefully Apple will finally get it right with the next major update, 17.2. Now the next thing I wanna test is benchmark performance test. So let's go into Geekbench 6 here and let's run a CPU test on both of these devices. So let's go into the CPU test and start running this test right now to see which device finished first and what those numbers look like. Let's go ahead and come right back after they're done. Okay, so here are the results and they're basically identical at this point. So iOS 17.1.1, 2,952 versus 2,958 on iOS 17.1.2. Single core score basically identical here. It's the same as multi-core score, 7,398, 7,395. So in terms of performance, it doesn't look like the it has any impact in terms of performance here, no gains or lost in that category. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the battery on the iPhone because this was the most unexpected results on my testing. So iOS 17.1.1 definitely outperformed 17.1.2 
in the battery department. When I started my testing, both devices were approximately 90 to 95% battery. Now, as you can see from this graph here, when I started testing, the battery on 17.1.1 actually was managed better than it was on 17.2. We see this dip here, and the battery is actually lower. And I'll show you here in a few seconds. We've been testing for basically the same amount of time, as you can see right there. We've had the same apps running for basically the same amount of time as well. So the same tasks were performed on both devices same brightness and everything like that and you'll definitely get better battery performance on the previous os 17.1.1 right now it's at 45 versus 21 so that means you'll probably get close to even an hour extra of battery life on the previous os keep in mind apple did patch some security flaws on ios 17.1.2 i don't know if that has anything to do with performance and battery any sort of impact on that but yeah the battery is definitely better on ios 17.1.1 by a good 30 minutes maybe even up to an hour extra of on-screen time which is kind of crazy it was sort of unexpected for me to see these results again the same tasks were performed same brightness same settings and it looks like 17.1.1 definitely handles the battery department a lot better and there you guys have it i just wanted to share this information of course ios 17.2 the bigger major release should be available in the upcoming weeks so maybe on the week of the 18th of december so we have about three weeks before we see another major update come to the iphone with a lot of great features and hopefully we'll see some of these wi-fi implementations keep in mind 17.1.1 outperform 17.1.2 in the battery and wi-fi department so hopefully we'll see those improvements added back with the major release of 17.2 thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace